Hello everybody and welcome back to Subnautica. I'm up here again because it was really freaking bothering me that you couldn't see the the, a, the the O2 and all that stuff. I I tried it out for a while. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> uh, I have successfully found all the things for the Cyclops. I I made a moon pool. I made I made a thing. I made an, a vehicle upgrade station. I made the Epoch 2. I, I colored it nice. So, yeah. Hooray for all that. So, uh, two slash three main objectives for this, uh, this episode. Uh, the first, I'm gonna upgrade the Epoch 2 a bunch. So let's, let's just start with that. Uh, I decided I wanted to give it the sonar, because I thought it would be cool. And the, um... The hull reinforcement on top of the storage module and the depth module. Because I wanted to have those. So let's start off with the um, the sonar. So uh, I put copper wire in this thing, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. I put like everything I needed to make this stuff. Yeah, okay. Sonar! Because I think it would be cool. And then hull reinforcement. I need ah crap. I need lithium and one more diamond. Run! Uh, it was uh, the lithium. Uh, more titanium. Whoops. More titanium. I thought I saw. And then diamond. One more diamond. Yay! Run! 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 And hull reinforcement. Alright, so let's plug those in. Equip, equip. And then I'm gonna take out the depth module so I can upgrade it. Uh, right now I can only upgrade it to the Mark II. But that's okay. Woohoo! Alright, Mark II! Equip. Yeah, it can go down to 500 meters. Probably won't do that. <laughs> Alright, um, next big thing we were gonna do this episode was make the Cyclops. Uh, it looks like the major thing keeping me from doing that is really just enameled glass, and I might need a little bit more lithium now, but that's not a major problem. Um, before I do that though, I kind of wanted to show you guys something. So, while I was going down to get some more magnetite, because I needed some more magnetite, I found something kind of cool down in the Underdark. And I want to show that, I, I, I want to I wanna show you guys that. Alright, so to the Underdark. Uh, while I'm going though, I just want to point out, there is a, like, like, yeah, I haven't gotten around to, like, scanning a Reaper Leviathan, and I still don't know if I want to do that. If I do want to do that, I want to make a, um, uh, like a stasis rifle or something to hold it in place while I do it. But, but, oh, but, but um, you know, I've been paying attention to the, to, like, where I see them, and, like, their patterns and their tendencies, just because... I don't know. It's fun to do, to want to survive. <laughs> and most of the time, they don't go places that require them to move maneuver around a lot, like in like in the the kelp forests or in the mushroom forests. Except mushroom forest has one Reaper Leviathan, and it's so scary because it is way too close. So like you'll be going through the mushroom forest and you'll hear like a roar in the distance like oh I better watch out there's like a reaper here somewhere and then you look up and there it is scared the crap out of me all right let's see if I can find this again because I was just looking around for some magnetite and like come on magnetite come on magnetite and then I saw something really freaking cool and I really wanted to show it to you guys uh real quick though how does this um Sonar doohickey work. Whoa! 
That's fucking cool. I think that's it right there. Yeah, look at that. There's like this little hole here. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna like try to force my my, my seamoth into it because that looks tiny. But let's go check that out. Have have this here for like air. Look at this. Ooh. Lithium. I think I might need like a temperature suit or something. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. Look at that. That's just sort of cool. What's up here? Ooh, it's hard to see. That looks like a magnetite thing. And a cave. Oh, it just sort of pops out here. Okay. But yeah, no, it just looked like really freaking neat. Like that weird, like, lava. Whoa! That weird, like, lava rock. It just looked neat. It makes me think of, um,. Maybe putting like a thermal generator type thing down here. If I if I really need power at some point. Because it is like just sort of right here. I am slightly worried about connecting two biomes to one another, but I don't know. It it, it was just like a cool little hole that I saw. Let me let me do that again, because uh that sonar thing, that was freaking cool. Let's um get out of the way of the weird worms. It looks like a like lithium thing. I am I am thinking that I am going to make a um a mech suit soon because I just never made one. My God, you're fucking scary! Ooh, I jumped! <laughs> Ooh, I jumped! That noise is just not good. Oh, that's so freaking cool, though. I'm not a huge fan of it being red. Because in this game, most red things are just bad. Like Piranha and Reaper Leviathans. But <laughs> I, I guess it makes sense not to make it blue. But, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so... Diamond. Replenish my diamond stores. Uh, Magnetite. I don't think I need any more. Just come down here for a, a few more pieces of lithium. Uh, so yeah, man. I just thought that was freaking cool. Thought I would share. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is go hunt for uh, stalker teeth. And I am seriously considering um, making a stasis rifle. Not for scanning the Reaper Leviathan like I teased, like 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 I joked before. Although that is something I could do with it. I was more thinking to use it on those um, stupid crab squid monsters that destroyed Epoch One. So I I could scan I could scan one and and that yeah. That might be a thing I can do. But we, we'll just wait and see. I might not bother. Alright, so. Uh, is my inventory good for stalker teeth? Yeah. Okay, so I think I need four stalker teeth total? Question mark? Let's go. Let's go ahead and um, and look for it. I'm not gonna make you guys watch me look for for stalker teeth. So I'll, I'll see you guys back at the back at the base when I have this teeth. See you guys in a second. Leave it to my kids to drop plenty of teeth. <laughs> oh my god, they just dropped like more teeth, like just now. We'll grab, grab them. They really are great kids. 
<laughs> Bye, kids. We're just gonna ignore that happened. <laughs> uh, dang it. Okay, so, um. Seamaw, a Zyklot. <laughs> uh, three enameled glass. Uh, I think I have. Quartz. I got two quartz. Do I not have a third quartz? Really? That's. Annoying. Well, that's all right. I'm sure there's like quartz right outside. Let's just go look. Quartz, 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 quartz. Which, which, which quartz? Which quartz? There wouldn't be quartz down there. Ah. Quartz. Let's see if we can't grab just a few extra quartz just in case. And grab that. Oh, inventory's too full for that. Never mind. But mayhap a little more quartz. Yeah, a little more quartz. Do I see one more? Yes. All right, we're on the we're on the fast track to a cyclops. Enamel glass, please. First glass, turn into enamel glass. Uh, poop. Really? Poop. One more. Shit. Really? <laughs> I knew. I fucking knew there was quartz right outside. Oh. Make the make the glass. Alright, in down glass. Alright, three enameled glass down. Next uh three plasteel ingots. Blech. Blech. <laughs> That's a lot, man. That's a that's that's a whole buttload. All right, so let's let's like put lithium away and concentrate on filling up my inventory with uh, titanium and titanium ingots. Now we saw that bit of salvage out here a second ago. Will I remember where the hell it is? Right there. No, that is a that is a Seamoth fragment. I mean it's still titanium, but bio right, reactor. But where was that ah And there's another one. But my inventory's full. Damn it. Need a bigger inventory. Uh, 
let's scan the thing that's in here. If there, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a card fragment. Every little bit helps. One titanium manga. Uh, yum. <laughs> Is there no more titanium in here? Alright, fine. Um, there's more scannables and shit by the wreckage. Yeah. Stupid piranha fish. Ah. Scannables! An excellent source of titanium. Metal salvage. Also an excellent source of titanium. Um. I'll drink this water. Pick up the salvage. I am going to need to make water at some point. The, um, water filtration thing required rubies, though, didn't it? <sighs> Not looking forward to that. Let's double check that real fast. Water filtration unit. No. Scroll, 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 scroll. Scroll, 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 scroll. Yeah, it is. Aerogel. Yeah, an aerogel requires, yeah. Alright, so. Back to it. Titanium ingot. And three titanium ingots. And then we turn those into plasteel ingots using lithium. I might not have enough. <laughs> oh my god. It was Lancelot, wasn't it? It's getting hard to remember all the names. Alright, uh, next one lube. I think I have one lube. Yeah, one lube. And then the three enamel glass. What next? Advanced wedding kit requires a wiring kit. Did they change that? I don't remember advanced wiring kit actually requiring a wiring kit. Whatever. Alright, so silver. Got tons of silver, got tons of gold. And a computer chip. Computer chip is copper. Do I have copper? Do I have copper? I have exactly copper. Exact copper. And then I know that I've got some table coral right outside. Table coral! I gotta, I gotta get me some of that. Hey, look, wreckage. Do I have enough space? I do. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Just in case I forget about it again. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, big guy. Welcome aboard, Captain. And just put it away, like, right away. Alright. Um, wire. Into computer chip. Into advanced wiring kit with some more gold. Advanced wiring kit. Sweet, what do I need next? Uh, three lead. One. Two, three. I did it! Yay! Now I just have to remember where the hell my vehicle fabrication thingy is. Shit. <laughs> um, I think it's probably still back by the, by there, isn't it? I'll come and grab it and put it back over here. All right. To the vehicle key construct that way. <laughs> to the that way direction. I'll see you guys when I find it. Actually, I think I see it, like on the mini map. So I'll go ahead and make it here, and then I'll pack it away and take it back with us. Ooh. Oh, yeah, the escape rocket. I know how to make the. I don't remember actually learning how to make that. Oh, whatever. Alright, so, for the prawn suit, I need aerogel anyway, so I can't make it right now. Ugh. Cyclops, please. Must be constructed in deeper water. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. Pick it up. Take it back home with us. Because, uh, our base is in deeper water. Whee! Ow! Whee! <laughs> Ow! I, I should stop doing that. Alright. This water ought to be plenty deep. I just hope I don't bash poor Lancelot in the head with it. That would be unfortunate. Now make the Cyclops. Woohoo! Achievement! 40 foot sub for one! Acquired. Be advised, the Cyclops is designed to be operated by a three person crew. Only experienced Helms people should attempt to pilot this vehicle solo. And. Sploosh. Sweet! Ah, oh, that still sounds like a roar. Ugh. Why is it so big? All right. Now to outfit this place out with a with a marble melon farm, and I'm not gonna put like a fabricator in it, but I don't know. I'll stock it up with stuff. <laughs> But first, name the black ermine. I remembered who did this, by the way. Remember, I couldn't remember who the heck did this. It was uh, Vinny from Vine Sauce. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> that's actually 
like remember what the hell we're doing here. Uh, to make a grow bed thingy, I need uh, no indoor grow bed for titanium. Okay. So get some titanium, some seeds. And I should probably actually eat some as well. Vital signs stabilizing. Fill up planter and we'll chop up one. All right. Yeah, no, yellow do definitely doesn't work for me. It's not bad, but I, don't know, I, I prefer it red. Red. Indoor grow bed. And then fill it up with some marble melons. There we go. Excellent. Now I need to make a whole bunch of power cells because that power cell trick doesn't work anymore. And then give this thing a bunch of upgrades. As many upgrades as I can give it. Many, many upgrades. Depth upgrades and defense upgrades and... I, I wish I knew what the sonar upgrade was because, I mean, heck, if it's that freaking cool on the... on the sea moth, this has got to be really freaking cool. I, I definitely want to learn these. I don't know what... I, I don't know where I learned them, but I want to learn them. And I don't know how to make a depth module. That's slightly concerning. Oh, whatever. The, the current depth is like, what, 900? 500. That's shit, actually. Frickin' Seamoth can go that deep. I don't remember where I learned how to make a, a depth module for this thing. Whoa, hey dude! I don't. I don't remember where you where you find the depth module for the for the the cyclops. That's annoying. Yeah. <clears throat> that is irritating. Anyway, uh, the efficiency module. Here we go. Alright, well that that was what I wanted to accomplish for this video, so. Uh what do I want to do for the next video? Um I guess outfit this place with like plenty of water, plenty of power cells. And then I guess go to I just I just just go exploring. I don't know. I don't know where to go. Oh, um I found a voice log or something. Where did I find? Uh, I scanned a bunch of shit. Oh yeah, the scanner room voice log. Let's, let's listen to this. The way I see it, no one's to blame here. Hey, it's Keen. She gave me the wrong coordinates. She didn't give me clear instruction. 
Okay, I'll rephrase. You've been equally incompetent. Now, we've lost time, but we're closer to the planet. So if the Degasi's out there, the scan should pick it up. Why are we even helping the Mongolians? They're the competition. Enjoy your shore leave on Sanjay Station? Like having fuel in the tanks? Thank the Mongolians. We run the scans, we show them we didn't find anything, and we say thanks for the free dinner. Clear? Sir, there's something odd on the surface scan here. Turn that recorder off. Oh. <laughs> well then. Keen, not so innocent now, huh? <laughs> All right, so let's let's reassess here. Ugh, where do I want to go? The proposed Degasi habitat is exactly 500 meters down, which is the maximum depth for my stuff. So I guess that's where I want to go. It's not where I want to go. <laughs> but um. I'm thinking that's probably where we gotta go next. So the 500 meter Degasi... This... Oh, we could go over there. I, mean, I don't think we've even done that yet. Ugh. Oh, I don't want to go back down there. <laughs> Everything about that just screams I don't want to go back down there. But I gotta go back down there. Not just for that, but also for rubies. For the stuff I can scan in there. I, that might be even where I get it, is like in there. I don't know. I don't remember. Alright. Uh, I guess, I guess that's what we'll do. We'll head to the Degasi place. And, uh, but first, first we gotta make tons of power cells. Bunch of power cells. At least, at least a whole nother batch of power cells. At least. So, I'll do that off camera. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Not looking forward to the next episode. I'll tell you that right the fuck now. Jesus Christ. <laughs>